In the last video, we saw freedom of speech and expression. In this video, we shall look at freedom of assembly and freedom of association. Article 19, Clause 1, Subclause B, Freedom of Assembly Every citizen has the right to assemble, but how? Peacefully and without arms. It includes the right to hold public meetings, demonstrations and to take out processions. The important points to note here are this freedom can be exercised only on public land and the assembly must be peaceful and unarmed. This provision does not protect violent, disorderly, riotous assemblies or one that causes breach of public peace or involves arms. Also this right does not include the right to strike. Now let's see the grounds of restrictions on this right. According to Article 19 Clause 3, there are two grounds for imposing reasonable restrictions on this right. Sovereignty and integrity of India and public order, including the maintenance of traffic in the area concerned. To enforce these restrictions, some laws are passed. Under Section 144 of Criminal Procedure Code, a magistrate can restrain an assembly, meeting or procession if there is a risk of danger to human life, health or safety. Under Section 141 of the Indian Penal Code, an assembly of five or more persons becomes unlawful if the objective is to resist the execution of any law or legal process, to forcibly occupy the property of some person, to commit any mischief or criminal trespass, to force some person to do an illegal act, and to threaten the government or its officials on exercising lawful powers. Now let's move on to Article 19.1c, Freedom of Association. Association means forming a group or a body of persons. According to this article, all citizens have the right to form associations or unions or cooperative societies. So what kind of associations are included under this right? It includes the right to form political parties, companies, partnership firms, societies, clubs, organizations, trade unions, etc. It also covers the negative right of not to form or join an association or union. In short, no one can force you to join an association or a union. According to Article 19.4, there are three grounds for reasonable restrictions on this freedom. Sovereignty and integrity of India, public order and morality. Now note that forming an association is a fundamental right. But getting such organization officially recognized is not a fundamental right. The Supreme Court held that the trade unions have no guaranteed right to effective bargaining or right to strike or right to declare a lockout. 